Welcome to our webinar entitled Filing of BIR Form Number 1604CF, 1604E, and Other Matters. I'm Attorney Arnold A. Abdua, and I will be glad to share my knowledge and experience regarding taxation to our viewers today. But before we proceed with the topic, I would like you to point your camera to the QR code. You can send questions, clarifications, or comments, and even request for any tax topic that you want me to discuss. So, let us proceed. The BIR issued Revenue Memorandum Circular No. 18-2021 which clarified the filing of BIR Form No. 1604CF, 1604E, and other matters. Take note, for businesses, they are required to submit annual alpha list of payees. It could either be employees or suppliers of goods and services that are subject to withholding tax. But, the BIR clarified in this circular that the taxpayers have to comply with the particular form to be filed. For example, we still have the old consolidated 1604 CF, the July 2008 version entitled Annual Information Return of Income Taxes Withheld on Compensation and Final Withholding Taxes. This particular form is actually a consolidated form of alpha list of payees, showing both the employees and income payees subject to withholding tax. And we have here a sample of the BIR Form 1604 CF. This is just a portion of this particular form. Remember, we also have to accomplish the attachments of this 1604 CF. The BIR also clarified that we now have new BIR Form 1604 C January 28 version entitled Annual Information Return of Income Taxes Withheld on Compensation. It only means this is now the form that you will use in case of alpha list of payees, specifically employees subject to withholding tax and even actually those exempt from withholding tax like the minimum wage earners. And this is a sample or a portion of the new BIR Form 1604C, January 2018 version. We also have here the new BIR Form 1604F, the January 2018 version, which is entitled Annual Information Return of Income Payments Subject to Final Withholding Taxes. So, dito naman sa form na to, dito nyo na ilalagay yung mga income payees subject to final withholding taxes. So, in short, we have old consolidated form showing the alpha list of payees such as employees and income payees subject to taxes. Pero in 2018, the BIR separated these two payees. One is for the compensation using BIR Form 1604C and the other income payee subject to final tax using BIR Form 1604F. And this is a sample of the new BIR Form 1604F. We also have the new BIR Form 1604E, January 2018 version. This one is actually the Annual Information Return of Creditable Income Taxes Withheld, Expanded Income Payments Exempt from Withholding Tax. So earlier, I discussed 1604F, which involves income payees subject to final tax, while this 1604E are income payees that are entitled to creditable withholding taxes. Kasi we know naman, when we talk about withholding taxes, there are different kinds of withholding taxes. It could be creditable withholding taxes or it could be final taxes. But this withholding taxes will be discussed in another video. And this is a sample of the new BIR Form 1604E, January 2018 version. And what the BIR would like to clarify is that in filing the BIR Form 1604 CF, whether compensation or final withholding taxes, we have to identify the particular taxpayer and what form should be used. If you are an EFPS filer, what you have to file as provided by the RMC is the old consolidated form or the BIR Form 1604 CF, the July 2008 version, through the EFPS facility. But if you are the mandated users of offline EBIR Forms package, you have to use the new BIR Form 1604 C or 1604F, the January 2018 version, and you have to file it using the offline EBIR form package. While for manual filers, what you have to do is to file it also using the new BIR forms, number 1604C or 1604F, the January 2018 version, and you file it using the offline BIR forms facility. Attorney, 
Pero ano bang ibig sabihin ng EFPS, Mandated Offline EBIR Form Package Users, and Manual Filers? Well, actually, that will be discussed in another video that I have prepared. And the deadline for filing the BIR Form 1604CF will be on or before January 31 of the year following the calendar year in which the compensation payment and other income payments were paid or accrued. So in short, January 31 of the following year. But actually, the BIR issued Revenue Memorandum Circular 17-2021. It provides that the deadline of filing those returns such as 1604C, 1604F, the fourth quarter quarterly alphabetical list of payees, and annual alphabetical list of employees' payees is extended from January 31, 2021 to February 28, 2021. And for BR Form 1604E, how will the taxpayer file their tax returns? Well, similar to 1604C and F, we have here those EFPS filers should use the old form or the July 1999 version and file it through Electronic Filing and Payment System Facility. But for mandated users of offline EBIR form package, you have to use now the new form, the January 2018 version, and file it through the offline EBIR forms, same as to manual filers. You have to file it through offline EBIR forms. But some of you will ask, attorney who are the EFPS filers, who are the mandated users of offline EBIR forms package and manual filers? Well, actually, I have prepared another video explaining who are required to file or use EFPS, the offline BIR form package, and the manual filers. As to the BIR form 1604E, the deadline will be on or before March 1 of the year following the calendar year in which the income payments subject to expanded withholding tax or exempt from withholding tax were paid or accrued. In short, March 1 of the following year. But remember, you have to attach also the alpha list of payees for the 1604E. But these are the things that you have to remember in terms of filing those forms, the 1604C, 1604F, 1604E. In case of unavailability of the EFPS, for example, down yung system because it's flooded already by filers, the EFPS filers shall use the new forms in the offline EBIR forms package, which you can actually download from the BIR website. But remember also, as to the BIR form number 1604C, 1604F, and 1604E. These are only information returns. Ibig sabihin walang babayaran na tax as you file these returns. And therefore, it's considered as a no payment form. And per Revenue Regulation 6-2014 as amended, those who are using or filing a no payment return, it is mandatory to use the offline EBIR forms package. And also remember, we are required to submit the BIR Form 2316 or the Certificate of Compensation Payment or Tax Withheld for compensation payment with or without tax withheld. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we still have to be careful. So there should be social distancing or we refrain from meeting a lot of people. And that is the reason why the BIR said they will be accepting the BIR Form 2316 without the signature of the employees. Because normally, the BIR Form 2316 should be acknowledged and received by the employee before the taxpayer or the withholding agent submits the 2316 to the BIR. But now, it's acceptable for the withholding agent to submit the BIR Form 2316 without the employee signature provided it is signed by the taxpayer or the withholding agent. And remember, as withholding agents, as they file their tax returns online through the facilities of EFPS and offline BR form package, they do not need to submit the hard copies thereof to the RDO where they are registered. So, this is a reminder that for those taxpayers who are required to submit the BR form 1604C, 1604F, and 1604E, that the BIR has issued these regulations in 2021 to give us an update or a guideline whether we are required to file the old form or the new forms. Remember, as we file those tax returns, it must be on time and using the correct form. Otherwise, the BIR will impose the necessary penalties. 
So that covers our discussion about filing of BIR form number 1604C, F, E, and other matters. I hope you learned a lot from our discussion. If you have further questions or clarifications, you can contact us. Thank you very much. This is Attorney Arnold Day Abdua. I hope to see you in our next videos. Keep safe and God bless.